What does it mean to transform a function? Let's take a look. We're going to use parabolas to demonstrate this concept. If you don't know what a parabola is, that's okay. It just looks like this. f of x equals x squared. So what's the domain of this? The domain are the numbers we can put in, the inputs, the x values. Well, this stretches to the left and to the right forever, so any x value we want, there will be a corresponding y value. So we can use any input we want, so the domain is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. How about the range? Well, notice the lowest point here is at 0, 0. You can't get any y values less than 0, but it goes up forever. So the range is 0 to infinity. OK, let, now that's our baseline. Let's try transforming this parabola. Let's look at this guy here. So this is f of x equals x minus 2 squared. So it's been shifted to the right. Our lowest point is now here, where x equals 2. So the domain is still negative infinity to infinity, because it goes both directions forever. And the range, again, is the same. We can't get lower than 0 for our y values. So range is 0 to infinity. All right, let's try a vertical shift. Vertical shift. So this is f of x equals x squared plus 3. So now, notice that the plus 3 is outside of the parentheses. So that means we shift up. So now our domain is still all real numbers. But our range, look, now our lowest y value is at 3. So the range is 3 to infinity. Let's do one more. How about this? Interesting. This is f of x equals negative x squared. So now, has the same domain. Any x value we pick has a y value. That's good. So the domain is negative infinity to infinity. But the range, look at this. Now the lowest y value we can get, well, we can go down forever. So it's negative infinity. But the highest y value is 0. OK, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.